What's up, gang? Today we're going to be looking at Erebus. Uh, this was a client that I had previously kind of spread misinformation about, sort of, I don't know, not really. Anyways, here we have Erebus V2, which did update to 1.21.51, and I did make a video on this. This client was meant for Cubecroft, which is also a part of the reason why it got updated to 1.21.51. And just because it's Erebus V2 doesn't mean it's better than V1. V1 is intended as a Hive client, bypassing, as you can see, uh, Flareon V2, which is the Hive's anti-cheat. Uh, to get it, you can head over to their Erebus uh, dev page right over here. This is going to be linked down in the description below. And for the ones of you who want it, I will also link down the 1.21.51 version, which is, as I said, the one intended to bypass Cubecroft. While you're down in the description below, I've got many other clients in my Discord server, which is also going to be linked there. Anyways, for this video, I'm going to be downloading the Erebus dev, uh, Erebus.dll uh, file right over here. For different configs and the like, um, I think they have like one or two of them in their Discord server. Oh, there we go. We want to press on this download button here and then the download automatically starts, as you can see. Uh, and I'll, I guess I'll link that in the description if you want some configs. Um, most of our community made, so not sure how good they are. So now to use this, you will need to switch over to 1.21.44, which I've got right over here in Minecraft Bedrock Launcher. If you want to learn how to downgrade as well, then I will link a tutorial for that down in the description below. This basically allows you to launch older Minecraft versions. In this case, it doesn't matter at all that we're using an older version, which is also why there's really no point in updating this version of Erebus, uh, because... Hive still supports these older versions. Cubecroft, which there was a lot of uproar about in my Discord server, stopped support for 1.21.44, which, to be fair, if they want to reduce hackers, is probably an incredibly smart move from them. Uh, anyways, that's why the uh, er that Erebus version updated. Anyways, here we can simply select uh, Erebus from our downloads, inject it using Fate Client Injector. It's my preferred injector, um, I will link this in the description below as well. As you can see, this is a Solstice skid, it's skidded on the um, on the dev build of Solstice, as you can see. That's why the debug menu opens here. If you close this debug menu, then it's not gonna, it's, it's gonna close Minecraft as well, so I recommend just keeping that open. You can minimize it, of course. Uh, anyways, I'll just quickly head into Minecraft here, I guess. Uh, yeah, so basically, as I said, this is on um, a, a, a Solstice skid obviously right i mean we can press on the tab button on our keyboard and then it'll open up and then as you can see obviously a solstice skid but it isn't just any solstice skid it has been updated edited and uh made to actually be a w man be good bypass the hive and uh stuff like that i'll now show some footage from this uh guy i think i think he's like the main dev of the client bypassing uh flareon yeah, guys, so uh, sub that was basically that, I guess. Uh, subscribe to the video if you um, like bypassing on the hive. Haha. <laughs>